Not for long in the time tonight. We're going to stay with that same set past the scriptures. For those of you that have your Bible, let's go to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Tonight, the Lord took us there and, and he knows what he's doing. And I must say this, and you will probably hear me say it more than once. For those that have your Bible, that can and will stand for the reverence of God's word. I want you to remember the night that when I start, that I'm just a male man. The Father in heaven is the postmaster. And he sends Ecclesiastics, the 12th chapter. We're going to look at 1 and 2. Ecclesiastics 12, 1 and 2. Now, y'all know something that's a good sign. If I hear them leaves turning, that's good. See, don't ever go to the battle without your axe. Now, I know we up here using this technology, but it's always good to have your axe with you. Because don't ever go to the battle and you don't have nothing to fight with. Because the Bible, when you have it, say amen. 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 Verse 1 said, remember also your creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come and the years draw near to which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Two said, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkening and the clouds return after the rain, you may be seated. We would like to use tonight for a text, the Lord can use you now. We, we want you to understand, young folk, that this is your night. Amen. And we want you to understand that the Lord can use you now. Amen. Now, Amen. somebody said, well, I, 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 I'm too young to be serving God. I'm too young to be in church every Sunday morning, every Wednesday night, and every Sunday. I haven't had a chance to live. I haven't had a chance to do my thing. But I got news for you. Ecclesiastes 10 11 and 9 tells us that whatever we do in our youth, God's going to judge us for it. So don't get it twisted because you're young and you feel like that I'm still young. I haven't, and they used to say in the old days, I haven't had a chance to sow my oaks. But I got news for you. When you're young, God is still keeping check. God is still going to make us pay. And some of us are paying now at a rightful middle age. And I say this to you, I, 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 I'm right in the middle. I'm old enough to know how the older folks go there. But yet the Lord bless me to be young enough to understand the young folks too. Now, now, now we got to understand that. And truly, uh, me and the wife got teenagers at home. In the middle of 21, almost 30. So we still having to keep up with some stuff. And if you don't keep up, your children will be talking about stuff all around you and you won't even know what they're talking about. If y'all don't know the truth, let's be honest with you. The pastor told me to be real. Now, we need to be real with us. Our children will be coding and saying stuff and half saying stuff and you'll be saying, mm hmm. You don't even know what they're saying. What, what, what you talking about, child? I got news for you. I come tonight. Young folks, to let you know that God can use you now. The reason why I want you to know he can use you now because we've gotten, in the olden days, we've got our mindset too much on waiting until we get old. God wants your best. Some folks will sit around and take that chance, run them streets, do all everything they're big enough and bad enough to do, and then when they get ready to come to the God house, they go. God don't want that. The Lord want our best. God want our best just like he want that tide off the top. Now somebody said, where that come from? God want that off the top. He want that cream. He want that stuff that comes off the top. Don't put him last. You got a hundred dollars, you give him that first ten, and you wait till the last. Keep, the, keep that ninety. 
And then, oh, come here with that last 10 dollars bill. You, God ain't got nothing to blast. If you get that top, he got the rest of it to bless. He got the rest of it to bless. But tonight we need to understand that we're dealing with so much now. We're dealing with so much new age technology. We're dealing with so much to where Satan is running rampant through the TV. He's running rampant through the computers. But, but bear with me just a few minutes tonight. The Lord said don't leave nobody out. So all the folk don't get happy. Because God got something for us tonight too. I know you saw in the program where it says youth night. Cheering youngsters. But we got to do some stuff too to make it better. Yes, sir. Now, young folks, the scripture says that we also must remember the creator. And all it's telling you is that while you're having your good time and while you're enjoying yourself, you need to remember the creator, which is the Father in heaven. You need to remember him because just as surely as you get old enough. Now, what the scripture is talking about as, uh, until the evil days come, now, as long as you're a child and don't know right from wrong, you're covered by God. But just as soon as you get old enough to know right from wrong, uh-oh. God started counting then. God started counting then. You, you have them up on this cover. Now, you've heard people say over and over again, them babies going to hell. Surely, they babies. They don't know any better. That's why the scripture says you got to be pure in heart. And, and children are pure. They don't, they, if they don't like it, they gonna don't like it. If they like it, they like it. They not like a lot of us old folk. Get a little older, we start getting two-faced. I'm going to share this with you. It was told to me there was a young boy sitting on the bank one night with, with uh, some ladies in church. And all night long, he kept looking at that lady. He kept looking at her. He kept looking at her. And she kept looking at him. He said, what? She never said anything, but when it finally got over, she said, baby, what you watching me so much for all night? He said, I'm looking for your other face. He said, mama said, you two-faced. <laughs> so you better watch what you tell and what you say around your children. Because I promise you, they're nothing but sponges. Especially when they first start talking. They suck up everything we say, good or bad. It's just good to be here. Amen. But tonight, we want to share a few verses with you and then we're going to move on. You know, Proverbs 13 and 24 said, For he who shared, who, who spared the rod hate his son. But the whole who love him discipline him. Now, young folk, when we got towed up, that was love. Oh, we don't, we don't think it's right. We've been where you all are now. When mama got a hold of me, I thought she was just as wrong as she can be. But every love, every lick came with love. Everything she done came with love. And I guarantee you, everybody here 50 years or older can tell you these white folks didn't get a chance to fill these jailhouses up like they are now. Because mama raised us, auntie raised us, the neighbor raised us. Wherever we went, we was under somebody's control. Somebody, if you did wrong, if you got a chance to go spend the night with somebody, you was under their rules. If they told their child up, they told you up too. And then, and, and then when they got home, you hope they didn't go ahead and tell mom anyway, because then she'll tear you up again. But now we don't want to mess up their intestinal fortitude. If we whoop them now, they won't be able to learn no more. Having the enemy messed us up. Now, I'm going to say something now. He showed up messing black folk up because we know where we come from. And we know all that stuff. Time out. One, two, three. That just don't work. When they got them handcuffs on him, he headed downtown. Pastor Fields said, keep it real. But all these things, all these scriptures in the Bible for us to understand that to do right while you're young. Yes, sir. The scripture talks about how that 
Ecclesiastes 6 and 3, that it may be well Amen. with you and you may live long on this earth. That's it. That's right. In other words, when you do what's right by uh, the Lord and do what's right by your parents, you will live a long time. And I don't know about you, but I want you to live a long time. But I got news for you. Tonight, when the scripture, verse 2 said, before the sun and the light are dim. Mm -hmm. See, as we get older, our eyes get dimmer. Yeah. Our eyes get dimmer. And, 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 and as we get older, we see a many moon go by. And then we start to realize that we get them aches and pains in our body. And then we start to get them more funny pains that we don't realize where they come from. And then we go by somebody and we realize we could be next. So this is why you got to give the Lord what you got early in life. So that when he give it to you early, you can be ready when you get to your midday and your midlife. And you're ready to serve the Lord. Now we got to know that over in Titus 2 he talked about the older ladies. Teaching the young girls how to be sober. Just keep it simply talking about telling them how to act. How to treat their children. How to treat their husband. How to love one another. So the older men teach the young boys how to be sober. Now, older folks, we agree with that, don't we? Now I'm going to see if you're going to keep on agreeing. Now, I said all that, and that's Bible. Young folks, we cannot blame everything on y'all. I'm going to tell you why we can't. Nowadays, we got some 35-year-old grandmothers and some 45-year-old great-grandmothers. And, and, and this is what's happening now. They're in the nightclub with you. Hey, ho, whatever they do. You can't help them because you up in that party with them. I ain't old. That's the first thing you say, I ain't old. But see, I can remember as a boy, me and my sister, Dorothy, the youngest too, we used to run around that hole on mama dress tail. Poor child now, they won't stand a chance, they're too short, they can't reach it. It's so short now, they can't even reach it. So we can't blame everything on y'all young people. What, 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 what we got to realize, we're going to bring this thing home. What we got to realize is when you got a child that's old enough to go to the movies and God forbid they go to the nightclub and you still up in there, it's time for that old great man to go home. You ain't got no business up in that party with your children. And then when something happens, how you going to tell them something other? Well, mama, you were partying with me. Now, don't misunderstand me. None of us is perfect. None of us, even now, they raise our children like we were raised. But now we got to be real, yo. Things are different now than it was 25, 30, 40 years ago. Now, I know when we came up, children were seen and not heard. But I got news for you. You better listen to them now. Because they got stuff going on in their lives that's so deep now. So they be them hung themselves in their room back there. You will never know anything wrong. Now, now, somebody said, what you talking about, preacher? Just because they're getting A's and B's don't mean they're all right. See, 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 we get caught up. They got good grades. They good. They good. If she don't get pregnant, she good. But you got to realize something. I want to ask y'all a question. When the last time y'all heard anything about puppy love? That was back when we was in school. I love you. You love me on the paper at the schoolhouse. Now our 12, 13, 14, 15 year children, they fall so deep in love until you next thing you know they're trying to kill themselves. Yeah. Satan is on the move, y'all. Yes, and the reason why he's on the move because he want to take out every generation that he can take out. The Lord can use you now, young folks. The Lord can use you right now. And the reason why I tell you that he can use it right now because Amen. every round go higher and higher. And you must understand something about the enemy. Now, preachers, I know the scriptures say don't give place to him, but I'm not giving him praise, but I'm just telling you about it. So he's not that little thing that you see on the cartoon with the little funny face and the long tail. That's a cartoon character. 
Satan got these nice suits and robes on. Satan got these nice hats and dress and everything to match. I got to tell you. And another thing you need to understand, young people. Simply because you got A's and B's, that doesn't mean you do, you're smarter than the enemy. Now, I'm not bragging on that. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The enemy does not deal with your IQ. He deals with the issues of your life. And I guarantee you, everybody here got issues. And the only thing about it that makes it dangerous, Satan knows. Somebody said, how you know that? Because whatever you did, this old flesh was with you. That's why we wrestle every day, because we carry this old flesh with us. And this old flesh already knows it can't go to heaven. Because the scripture plain is said it's going to go back to the dirt. So now, Satan uses this flesh because it already knows. And he knows what you're doing. And I tell you what else. The flesh knows what you like. The flesh knows what you used to do. The flesh knows who you used to do it with. Somebody holler, now I got new feet. Now I got new hands. But if you don't get it right with God, them new hands, them new feet will take you right back where you used to be. Young folks, you got to get saved. You got to get him in your heart. You got to let him in your life. And I promise you, if you let him in your life now, your life will be so much better. So much trouble, so much tribulation in the schools and stuff won't be as bad as it is now. And more folk will talk to their children about God. Tell them that God is the answer. We are not the answer. Beautiful clothes are not the answer. All the material things are not the answer. It's just not the answer. But then I got to let you know something. You got to cover your body. Pastor, keep it real. You got to cover your body. I got news for you. Victoria's Secret. Fold you be a secret. But it ain't a secret no more. You go to Walmart, you can see whatever you please when they walk by. And then you're wondering why he don't treat me right. Why he think that's all I want. Because you're showing him what he's looking at. And I'm talking from a man's point of view. When you look and betray yourself like that, that's all he's going to think of you as. You are beautiful. You got a beautiful body. And God intended for you to keep it covered and save it for your husband. Because I got news for you. If you let everybody have it, ain't nobody going to take you home to meet mama. All they going to do is tell the next one. I, I, I had a last week. Go on by there. You can get it this week. Now, fellas, you thought I going to leave you out. There's a lot of young men killing themselves. Simply because they fall in love. And they're weak now. Why you think these fellas going to these schools killing up folks? Some young girl done broke their heart when they were little. They just started hating all women. If you notice them, they mostly go at young ladies because somebody broke their heart when they were young. And they never got into Jesus in their life. Never got into Jesus in their life so they can better themselves so they grow up with that hatred in them. That's what the scripture was talking about when it said that the world is not good to you anymore. See, when you don't been hurt and tore up on the floor up all your life, you started hating the world. And then you start trying to fight your battles day after day by yourself. I got news for you tonight. You can't fight it by yourself. You cannot fight it by yourself. And I tell you what else. The internet can't help you either. A lot of us, we, we get so caught up on what's on the internet. Yes, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Now it's good. Technology is good. Yeah, right, right. But I got news for you. It, it, it's taking a lot of us out of here. Yeah, right, 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 right. But then before we bring this thing on home, there's several reasons why you need to seek God while you're young. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. First one is because tomorrow is not promised to you. Ask these undertakers. Yes, they bury young folks right, just like they years old. And if you look back through the papers and through uh, some things that they've been more young folks dying in 2013 than older folks. 
Every weekend, somebody's shooting somebody. Right. Somebody's shooting two or three at a time. Right. I saw the night where they had on the news where they were uh, shooting knives. Right. Right. Somebody cheated somebody and got up and shot him and killed four more. Now, we need to realize something. Somebody in that crowd probably was just standing around looking. Yes, right. yes, right. There have been more folk caught bullets standing around looking than anything else. You could be at the wrong place at the wrong time around the wrong people doing the wrong thing. But now, it's not y'all fault. Because Lala, the fathers, Carry his son with him. Shoot that. Show him how to do it. Show him how to do it. And a lot of the mamas, when they play out of the streets, they put their children out there to do what they used to do when they were young. Oh, it's happening. You know what? It's not for off either. Use them to get dope. Use them to get men folks to come in the house where we can hustle them. Stop using your child. Because her body look like it looks and yours look like it looks. I'm here to tell you, young folks, if the only thing that that joker wants you for is your body, I got news for you. That beautiful Coca-Cola bottle, it's going to get what they call midriff buzz when you start to get a little old. Young ladies, if you love him because he got that sick back, in a few days that sick back going to turn into a cag. So, I, let, I said that to let you know this. Nothing stays the same. If that joker don't love you, you better leave him at home. If she don't love you, you better leave her with mama. I got news for you. If they only got you for your looks, everything in here going to change. Everybody in here going to change. None of us stay the same. Only thing don't change is the Father in heaven and this word. Everything else change. Scripture said, I change not. Malachi, he tells us, I change not. And it don't change. The word's the same. It doesn't need changing because all we're doing is going around in a circle. All we're doing is going around in a circle. So young folks, it's not all your fault. It's not all your fault. Some of us need to straighten up around you. Preachers, y'all thought I was going to leave y'all out, didn't you? Now, now, now. We got to stand up here and be what we preach. When you see me at Walmart, I don't care if I don't have on a suit. I'm supposed to be the same Pastor McGee. I'm supposed to have the same respect for you at Walmart as I do in here. See, now you need to understand something. There are too many of us playing the role and doing the wrong thing when the door is closed. It's pitiful that we get up before God's people and know God's Bible yeah. and teach and preach you the word yes, and not live it. Some of them got two or three members pregnant. And I'm talking about babies. I ain't talking about grown women. Somebody said, why babies? Because them grown folk know better. Them young girls, they just happy because somebody older saying something to them. Young lady, because he said something to you, everybody tell you you look good don't mean it. They just want what they want. But fellas, I can't leave you young fellas out either. You hear all the time, teachers going with young men. They're going with young men, 13, 14, 15 year old. So now, nobody's safe. Because Satan is on the loose. But young folk, God can use you now. He can use you now. All you got to do is just trust in him. And if you have nobody else around you that's talking to you about the word, Get your Bible. Get your Bible. Read. And ask questions. Find you somebody's church close by. And come in and see what's going on. Because if they're doing what they're supposed to do. It'll be something said. Somehow or another to help you. That's why he said come as you are. You have to come as you are. Because you can't clean yourself up. God is a clean up. Come as you are. Come on up in here. It doesn't matter what you've done, when you've done it, who you've done it with. The main thing is that you change from it. The main thing is that you stop doing it while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Why it's not earthly too late. 
See, see, we, we, we got a problem that Jesus and his father don't have. We get all timers. We forget stuff. Sometimes I forget stuff now and I get scared. Well, Lord, it's all right. I remember in a few minutes. Y'all ever went in the room to go get something? When you get in there, you forget what you were in there for? Uh-oh, y'all better check yourself. But then you know what? I know some young folk do that right now. Their minds are so heavy. So much going on in their lives. So they can't even remember. Some of them are 12 and 13 and 14 living 45, 50 year old lives. In their mind. They may still look like they're 12, 13, and 14, but the stuff that they do got them heavy. So I'm trying to tell somebody tonight that young folk, God can use you. He can use you right now. He can take you. He can mold you. He can shape you because he, he's the part of we're all the clay. He can just mold us. He can just shape you. And I promise you, all that stuff that you want in life, he said, if you seek him first, the kingdom of heaven, all that other stuff that would be at it. So there's nothing that you would need that you won't have. You can have all of what you want to have without taking your clothes off to get it. Young man, you can have all you have without hunting you a gold digger to never let you have enough to even buy you a pair of pants. Every time you get something, she wants it. And you're wondering why you can't never get on your feet. You're looking at a gold digger. Check yourself. Look and see what's going on. If you got somebody you can't never have nothing, you need to back up and check yourself. Now, women, folks, the Bible said, help me. So you got to have you somebody that want to help you. And if you're making a lot of money, she need to help you save some of it. Don't help you spend all of it. Because you don't know what tomorrow brings. Then the first thing you need to do is bring some of them tithes into the house. You bring them tithes up in here and God will bless you. You turn it over 440, 40, 60, and 100 is over. All you got to do is just bring it to him. And he said, try me. See when I open up the door and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive it. But tonight, I understand that these type messages don't get a whole lot of amen. These type messages don't make a whole lot of folk run up down the aisle. But you know what? Mm, it, it, it's all right. One thing I learned about black folk, when they steal and looking, they thinking. If I can get you to thinking, maybe you'll transfer it from your head to your heart. Because if you can get that heart right, the rest of it will get in line. Because that's why so many people right now, they know they got an old no good Joe Blow, but I just love him. Now, you know that joker pulling you down? He ain't treating you right. He's going upside your head. And you know he ain't no good, but I just love him. But if you get that head right, the Lord will show you that you don't need that. You are a child of the king. God didn't make no junk. So he didn't make you to be stomped on, to be beat on, right. to be used. Right. You somebody. Amen. Amen. Young man, if what you got ain't never good enough for, you can't do nothing good enough for what you have not good enough. Because I got news for you, all of us not going to be filthy rich. God got a place for everybody. Everybody going to be in that place. Now you rich when you got the Lord. You can have Jesus be the richest thing in here and not have but five dollars in your pocket. I seen the time I be have a suit on and can't buy a drink. But you didn't know it. Because I got Jesus. As long as I got Jesus, I'm good. I don't need nothing else. And whenever I get down, I thought about what he done. He 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 came by. He sent Elijah by the lady that she was getting ready for her and her son to eat the last meal yes, right, right, in her mind. He sent Elijah by. When he did, he told her, said, give me some to eat. She said, well, I don't have but a little, but me and my son is getting ready to eat this and die. Yes, sir. 
Now see, that mind was set. She was set that it was over. Yes, we're going to eat this last meal and we're going to die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when, come on musician, we're going to bring this thing on home to a close now. But when, when, when she obeyed right, sir. and done what was asked, yes, sir. Sir, she cooked it and she gave it to him. And the strips of tales, as y'all know the story, that when she cooked it and when she gave it to him, that barrel never got empty. The stripper didn't say nothing about it, ran over, but it kept going over and over and over. So, young folk, if you just be obedient to God, and you won't run out of nothing, you just keep on going over and over and over. And I'll tell you what else he'll do. He'll send some nice young men by your house. He'll send some nice young ladies by your house. He'll let you meet some nice young men and nice young ladies at the mall at Wally World. Mall, Mark, that's Black Folk Mall. Y'all know nothing about that. But I got news for you. Nothing wrong with a little humor, but I'm being real. It's dangerous out there. And truly everything look good, not good. But, 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 but the second term I want to share with you before we get ready to go home. You need to serve the Lord while you're young because hell does not care how old you are. Scripture says hell wasn't even made for us, but, but, but man makes it enlarge itself. What is it in hell that you want? Why you keep trying to go? So it wasn't made for us, but being that man never satisfied, Lord, well, I just open it up and let you go then. You want to go? I got news for you, young folks. There ain't no party in hell. There ain't no nightclubs. There ain't no telephones. All that stuff that you think there, it's not there. Somebody said, why you say that? I met a young man one time. He said, I know I'm going to hell. I'm ready to go because I'm going to go party with them. I've been partying all my life. I'm going to just go on to hell and party. I said, you think when you die, you're going to go to hell and party? Yeah, that's what they do in hell. No, 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 no. Fire and brimstone there. All you're going to feel is eternal burning. Over and over and over again. Whether you ever better go up or whether they go down, you're going to feel that when you leave here. Now, this old stuff, this old flesh going to the dirt. But that soul is going to hell or heaven. And it's up to you which way it goes. You got to make up your mind. You got to make up your mind. Whatever, our last one. Whatever you're doing wrong, you must realize one thing. That because you look to the left, you look to the right, and you look behind you, you're not getting by. A lot of folks do that. They do all that looking, but they never look up. Because I guarantee you, he's looking down. He's always looking down. That's how come he knows you when you're in trouble. He knows when you're happy. He knows when you're sad. He knows when you need him. I tell you what he can do. He knows when you're in the university hospital in Jackson. He knows when you're in there. And it doesn't matter if it's 7 o'clock in the evening, if it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to share this with you, then we're going to go home. I got to share it. Back the second week of January. They looked at me and told me four times in one night, you're supposed to be dead. Looking at the machine saying you're supposed to be dead, and you're at least supposed to be unconscious. How you still talking? How you still coherent? I said, Jesus. Wasn't nobody but Jesus that done what he done. Now he done that in order for us to understand that if you don't do what's right, when you get in trouble, how are you going to expect for them to come to your rescue? Right, 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 now. now God loves us all. Yeah. He gives us chance after chance after chance. Yes, sir. But when they looked at it, when they loaded me in the helicopter, mm -hmm. they, was, they, they was already looking at my EKG and stuff in Jackson. Uh -huh. And they were saying, y'all sure you got the right patient? Uh -huh. Is that him still talking? Oh, Nobody but Jesus. And every time they would ask me something, I would answer them. And the guy that was driving the helicopter, he was trying to turn around and look. The helicopter started doing that. I said, oh, now, hold now, doctor. You better drive this thing. That's because we're trying to get there safely. 
You trying to look back here at me and they went to laughing again. I said, I'm serious. I'm already nervous. Never been in one before. Never been in one before. But look at God's word. If you're serving, you do what's right, he'll come to your rescue. He'll come to your rescue. Young folk, let him use you. He can use you now. But then when I got there, they were still waiting on me. Had all the stuff on, ready to do an operation. And, and, and I heard the, 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 the doctor at the hospital said, well, 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 see if he coherent. Ask him a few questions. They asked me, uh, what day was it? Uh, I told him Monday evening. What time? I was about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Uh, uh, what year? I said, just got into 2013. I kept waiting on them to ask me who the president was. They wouldn't ask me that. <laughs> They wouldn't ask me that, but yet and still, God was still working. God was still working. And, 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 when, and when we got there, I was still nervous, y'all. All this stuff, I'd never been through any of it. But see, what i done, I asked God to heal me. But see, what happened, young folks, you got to realize something. When you ask God for something, you don't know how you're going to get it. See, I just wanted him to just touch me because I know he could. I know he could have just spoke a word. I know he could. But he said, no, I got to carry you through this hospital. Because if somebody up around Jackson, Mississippi done got too big for the riches. They got an MD on the shirt, but I'm the almighty doctor. Somebody think they know too much. I got to carry you through there to show them that they don't know what they think they know. The machines, the EKG showed me as dead. I'm sitting up there talking to him. You know what happened next, don't you? What are you on? Are you on heroin? You got to be on, on, on crystal meth. They wouldn't even fool that reefer. Because that was too, they, I, I had, they, they figured I had to be on something powerful. To still be like this and still talking to him. And young folks, I got news for you. Most of it came because of this black skin. They feel like all of us are dope heads. All of us are dope addicts. Well, what makes me so mad with most of our young people, they, they're free, but they put themselves in chain with that dope. They let these white folks talk them into selling it. They ride back, sit on the front seat of the church, and you out there running around, running from the police, selling it for them. Then when you get caught, who know you? Then you get mad and you want to go in there and kill the rest of them folks that you in there with, and they black just like you. Young folks, stop letting folks use you like that. God give you too much knowledge for that. You got too much education for that. You don't have to be that way. You don't have to be that way. But then, when I got there, I run into one man that knew something about the Lord. That was a black doctor that was on duty that night. He came in, and they was talking, and he was looking. He looked at me, he looked at the machine, and he said, you and the Lord. See, my wife, they was, had to drive to Jackson. There wasn't enough room for so they hadn't got there yet, but Sister Hicks and them were there. They was almost there when I got there. But that time, me and the doctor was in there by ourselves. They were just running everywhere. Everybody getting their stuff ready. They were looking to have to cut me open to draw the fluid out of my body. What they call it was congestive heart failure. Yeah. Basically, I was drowned in my own fluid. And they could not see how I was still talking, how I was still coherent. And every time they would say something, I would look up. And they, I could see them talking, shh, shh, shh. That joke was crazy. I know that's what they were saying, but I'm crazy for Jesus. And I don't care who know it. I'm crazy for Jesus. And I got news for you tonight. If you be crazy for anybody, and be crazy over anything, let it be Jesus. Be crazy over Jesus. And, and, and this particular doctor, he said, he said, this is got to be the work of God. He said, because truly, I understand what they're saying because I'm a doctor. Looking at this EKG, looking at where your blood pressure is, normally when a patient is this way, he's either unconscious, he's dead, or we having to shock him back to get him back. Oh, they put all that stuff on me, D. But I didn't, God didn't let them use it. They put it all on me, but God didn't let them use it. Every time they ask me something, I talk to them. Every time they say something, I talk to them. But then, you got to realize something. 
God sent me through there, but Satan came too. The next day, he sent a doctor by there. He said, we need to cut you open. He basically said that we, we, we don't need to pay that medicine no good because that stuff take forever to, to, to do any good. We want to run that die through you and kill your kidney. We, we, he didn't say that, but that's basically what he was saying. He wanted to experiment yeah. on me because he couldn't understand why this was, why that was, why this was. And that was one of the ones that the Lord sent me through that to show his power to. All right. All right, See, somebody think because they got that education enough to work on hearts, they think they know everything. God is the only heart fixer. God is the only mind regulator. He's the only one can fix all that stuff. So whatever you're dealing with tonight, young folk, talk to God about it. If you can't talk to your parents, talk to God about it. Truly, if you talk to God about it, he's the only one got the answer that can fix it. And when you talk to him, you won't hear it no more. When you talk to God, it won't be on Facebook. He won't be on Facebook the next 10 minutes. Everybody won't know what's going on with you. Let us stand tonight. Let us stand tonight. Surely there may be one tonight. That's sick and tired of being sick and tired. And it does not matter. What you've been through. What you're going through. It does not matter. Who you've done it with. Because the God that I serve does not do a background check for two reasons. I tell them at James Chapel all the time. They may get tired of here, but I got to keep on telling them. The first reason is because he already know. The second reason is because it don't matter. He said, come as you are. All of you that are heavy later, I. He didn't say Pastor McGee. He didn't say all this. He said, I will give you rest. If you need to rest tonight from all your troubles and trials and tribulations and you tore up from the blow up and you want to rest. Tripp said, God will give you that sweet sleep. You lay down and go to sleep. It doesn't matter about the bill collector knocking on the door. I'm talking to the older folk now. God sent me there for a reason. We may be using this as you tonight, but we talking to some older folk too. And I got news for you. God can save you too.